Hey, what's up, guys? Again, Dragon here. And for today's video, I want to go over the topic a little bit about, well, pay too, and mostly personally, uh, pretty much the role I basically do, and that is why do I always host my own games? That's usually when I play with pubs, and mainly the reason for it is I have basically have all, I basically have full control over my game and what I actually want out of it. Such as I want to go for old loot, or just essentially, okay, let's just play the new high, see how it goes, and then try to run it another time, or give it another go. Okay, I found my grenade launcher, but I don't. So, and not for like the main reason like, oh, you got kicked out way too many times, or you're loading way too slow. Or just that you're expecting to get kicked, and you didn't, and the moment that you don't even expect to get kicked, you get kicked. So, it's one of those things that I don't want to get myself a heart attack for. But it's mostly just full control, just because, well, not only that, I also enjoy playing pubs. Especially on PC, with the, uh, at least on Mayhem difficulty. I don't even bother gonna try on Death Suns because it's basically a whole new level compared to the console version. And so, so I figure Mayhem is a pretty much good difficulty balance for each, uh, especially with pubs. And also the fact I can actually increase the level cap, where they need to either play as level 50 or 60 to do like for mayhem, and I would pick either 80 for Death Wish and Death Sentence Elite together, or at least 90 for Death Sentence because it's a brutal difficulty. It's not really meant to be a fair difficulty. So I only um, only people who have these skill points, or at least the investment. And the hours play, and they know handle if they can handle DSOD with no problem. They're all welcome to join. I just don't appreciate people who are new and they try to try for the first time. Not best to do it in a pub game. You're better off trying to do it offline and get used to the uh, game and the map itself. And you may think that sounds pretty good reason. So, what about when you time sub kicking people out? Well, unlike most hosts where they mostly kick you out for no reason at all, or no apparent reason at all, I actually kick people out because I have a reason for it. Wherever a lot of people do like st um, performing a very um, st stupid plays, such as get themselves killed in the open, um, either before or during the first assault way stars, and they expect to get revived if someone has like inspire ace or that. And other times, well, they either be just very toxicity and just use their rocket launcher and don't even give a damn about their teammates, such as just shoot a dozer and then shoot their teammates. And other time is that they do carry mission equipment, which we might need to use it later on. And when that check that did came arrive, uh, we couldn't do it because um, our lazy teammate still carrying it. And even when we were shouting at his name multiple, multiple times, he's still not coming over here and use the equipment itself. Let's just say like a key card, for example. It's actually pretty ridiculous to get these type of people. And of course a lot of people say, well that's why I'd rather play with friends only. So they don't know how to fuck it up. I mean, that's definitely true, but... I mostly play with pubs because, well, not all the time my friends could hop on pay to 24-7 and every day. And plus, playing with pubs can be very interesting, uh, a little bit fresh challenging and can definitely be uh, nerve-wracking moments as well. 
But usually I don't, of course, I don't tolerate with morons, assholes, toxicities, and all other stuff. And also another thing, even I do have a uh, level cap at 50, I have a player join like a low level, like 53. And they still don't know what to do with the objective. And basically not sticking with the objective and they go down in the worst area. And this is where um, game time becomes very, very important. Because if you're able to do well with all that time, you don't have to worry about it. And that's... And a lot of people may question why I would kick them out, like, they would probably question me about it. But, it's just that you just need to... I wouldn't say, like, oh, they need to get good. No, it's not that. It's... It's actually... Use common sense. Such as... If you're new to Payday 2, um, what's the first thing you should do? If you're new to it. Will you do the tutorial or try and play pubs on a very high difficulty, like Mayhem or above? Not doing so well, get the host pissed off and kicked you out, and you're gonna say this is a horrible experience. I would rather take the, the tutorial to actually get to the understanding of the game and also help you to level up a bit. And you're probably gonna, and if you wanna know what is pretty much. The um, what was the first pub game that you joined and what level? I'm not really sure the name of the highest, but I definitely know what was the highest level I joined, and I think I joined was either hard or very hard because I was comfortable with that difficulty at the time, being it back in 2014. And the level I was, I was at level 70 to join pubs. I wasn't level zero. I wasn't level 10. And I just wasn't uh, playing on the highest difficulty, which being overkill, which I actually got used to it by playing pay the highest, but after all, pay to is a completely different game. So, and that's um, how I got comfortable with it. So, you want to make sure you actually get your good and you're comfortable with that. As well as the time in, that you have invested into. And... Now you're free. And... There you go. <laughs> I got the free... Uh, look at that. Free XP and... I say just XP, but not much. But, yeah. That was actually hilarious. He actually... Freaking joy. <laughs> at the very end, but... You see, I don't kick the, those people out for that reason. Like, I don't kick them out for, oh, you just joined my game. No, that's actually pretty dumb. So, I'm also a very positive guy. But sometimes, I'll definitely show a bit of my bad side. If you are doing really bad. And I mean really, really bad. Oh, he's wearing a two-piece suit. Why don't you have your armor? Gonna kick them out? No. They probably have a build, they have a dodge build and all that. And... Let me get my weapon. And M95 and the M202? Am I gonna kick him out because all oh, you're only in using high powerful weapons? Actually... No. Not at all. Even if they do have sentry guns, or even ACM jammers, guess what? I won't kick them out, because they can at least still be used for loud, at least for the jammer part. They can at least still be used to open doors, or even temporarily convert the SWAT turret for, for a period of time. It's just the other stuff that doesn't make sense. Either if you don't have no equipment, or... Essentially, body bags, which happened to me many times, where people do bring body bag cases in Hudson Breakout Day 1, which is a little bit ridiculous. So, 
myself. Uh... Now, in terms of other stuff, like, also I do kick, sometimes like do kick people out for either uh, going down really too early on during the police assault, whether to be in one down, DSOD or mayhem. If they go down and get to the custody very early on in the game, then that basically tells me they're not um, taking this seriously. Come on. There we go. You see, I also help people out, even though I don't use a keyboard, since I'm playing on a PS4. You see, I do try to help them out as they go. So yeah, when, when if they die, like, go down and cussy early on. It pretty much tells me that they're not taking this game seriously, regardless what level they are as well. Which, of course, high levels shouldn't really matter at this point because, uh, at the end of the day, it's all about how skillful they are in-game and not the actual level themselves. Even if that one player is like, if me, 115 and level 100. I don't give a damn. I mean, that shows how much you probably played, but probably at the same time you probably grind. So you probably not get used to the other maps or the guns. I'm trying to get a mix of all varieties. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much a few reasons why I would definitely kick and don't kick them out because, after all, they all, after all, they all deserve to play. You know, they all deserve to play with me or not. It really depends. And after all, I don't always play on DSD all the time because. It does get very burnout, a little bit tiring by playing the same high highs over and over again. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, oh. Okay, I will hope my teammate doesn't blow me up here, which he didn't. Except where the hell did that dozer go? How do I lose a fucking green big guy? Uh, yeah. Oh, someone has a mic too, but I'm actually talking in a party, just get a better... So I can able to commentate this and without worried about them talking to me. And look at that, sentry guns. Even though it has two sentry guns... Guess what, I'm not gonna kick them out because, oh, you don't have a fully upgraded. Infamy 2, 65, that's understandable because they probably don't have all the skills at that time. Hey, so we got people joining. And yes, I am actually getting, of course, back to playing PC, so it's of course a little bit more different uh, when it comes to kick people because I noticed something too. One of the things I notice is when you actually kick someone out on PC, they don't really get permanent kicked where they can able to join your game again, which to me defeats the purpose of why you want to kick that person out in the first place. Whether they're hindering your team or just being a troll, it's really, or just being an asshole. they able to join the game, but they'll add to, of course, I would have to ban them because I don't, 
sometimes they do give them a second chance, and they do, and they redeem themselves, but then other times they just wasted that second chance. And I hope that's a, I hope that's worth of basically get my reaction. Uh... Oh God! Well, that was a little bit. Oh, he's in the Grim Twelves. Oh, a Kimbo Grim Twelves. You know, as much I would should kick him him out because it's bugged, despite the rate of fire cap. Uh. They didn't improve. I thought Blue did it. What was he? What was Blue doing? No, I don't want ammo. There. God, if they would have done one more time! For freak's sake. Alright, let's see how long they can actually kill this cloaker. Wow, that took a long time to inspire me. Normally, a lot of people have a hard time to kill a cloaker if if, um, if I got down by one, where they just shoot him in the body without any like fire expertise skills, like full auto weapons, or just not even aiming in the head in general. Oh, he opened the infirmary, which actually makes a lot of sense because we don't carry doctor bags or first aid kits. So, so uh, is it? Ah. Not bad part. Anything I'm done talking about this uh, video? You know what? I'm gonna keep uh, recording because I actually kind of enjoy playing pubs and see how you guys like it. If you guys want to see me doing uh, more gameplay with pubs, uh, by all means, uh, Write down in the comment section if you want more. I will definitely do more. I definitely gonna enjoy it. However, though, I probably won't do a lot because I still want to go back playing PC and. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I feel bad for you. I really do. But you're carrying one of the worst shotgun, which is still bug. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I really don't want it, but. Oh, it's just the noise, like, even though they lowered the rate of fire- Was that on purpose? Was he on- oh wait, let me see. Does he- did it on purpose? It looked like it did. Okay, now I'll just let that first one slide. Like I said, I feel bad for kicking in. Why are you- um, yeah, shooting the thing doesn't work. If you see a dozer, why don't you... Oh my god, you're so dumb. Yo, you're such an idiot. Why are you interact the same thing? I'm saving my key card, actually. Oh my god, you see, that they don't even pay attention to the fucking, like, watching someone six, like... That dozer could have just shred all of us if it wasn't for him. Oh, there it is again. Okay, you know what? I I don't like this. Oh my god! Now I got two. I kicked two people out for reasons. Oh, there's the key card here. Well, I gotta use it for the next objective. So the first kick I had to do was for the uh, the Kimbo Grim Trolls on console, which is so had that stupid audio noise bug. And the second was well, 
that player just keeps trolling my teammate with the rocket launcher, keeps hitting it on inattention on well intentionally. Why? Because he has a low level. Because he has a um, you know a very sexy level number. Uh, you don't have to stare at me, dude. You can just literally do detective. And wow, we got two people join already. And I got the this one. Nice. Oh well, I do have a grateful for blue for opening up the uh, the infirmary, so my uh, guy can able to patch himself up. Which I presume they're gonna patch us up regardless of the whole. You should wait when you get your screen go gray. And thanks to that teammate, he got down because they have low health. I've been there. I know your pain, buddy. I'm not sure how many talents he got. He probably got two downs. If he goes for like a third down and maybe gray screen, I don't know he have like nine life saves because I have no clue. I'll tell him about the infirmary. Oh, okay, we got a hacker with first aid kits. And even though they have like first aid kits, I don't. No, I'm not gonna ask him like, hey, can you give me a medic bag or that? Nah, I'm. I could do it just fine. I mean, it makes more sense for a Soic player. And oh, if I was watching, I watching the wrong wall. All right, we got another medic. Okay. Ooh, max level. With uh, looks like a micro Uzi. With frenzy. Plus, I'm using the two weapons that got basically buffed for, for PC. I know the uh, the Lion's Roar or the D2 and the MP5 got buffed a couple days ago. Especially with the straight magazine, where basically convert the weapon from a low damage SMG to a medium damage SMG. Oh, for frig's sake! Ow! You were even staring at it! And, you know, the term of, uh, do I have to do everything? myself or pretty much the whole Thanos. Fine. I'll do it myself. That's pretty much one of those scenarios. And for a max level player, you're not really good at monkey guarding the power box. I have the contract muter off, so I have no idea where the ejector goes. Ooh, IT apartment. And plus, I have no idea why when you enter it, bands like the, the uh, server is somewhere in this IT monkey. Like, why is it called monkey anyway? So weird. Okay, what is this blue doing? Okay, that's another type of people I don't like to is AFK players. Especially if they're AFK way too long in the worst possible time. Oh my, I might have to do it again. Because this is not a good time to AFK, and you know what? I just... Okay, I'll give him about... At least at the 16 clock. If he doesn't move, then uh, I'll kick him. Plus, not a very good spot to AFK too, especially here in the open. Those 
Oh, three seconds. Oh, he actually moved. Wow, he's had like seven seconds to spare before I kicked him out. Okay, you just dodge a bullet. But please don't AFK too many times again because this is just ridiculous. Okay, now I need to bring a server. Now I know where the key card is. I hope someone else actually takes it. Okay, shouldn't take that long to bring it. Holy God! All right, now I'm just gonna wait for them. Oh, that's a cloaker. Oh, that's a. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Come on. There you go. Oh. Okay, hacker, uh, save the day. There you go. There we go. Here's a first aid kit. First aid kit. Here out a first aid kit. Here. Good times. There we go. That's how. And that's how you have fun with pubs. Just play normally to see objective, having a laugh, having a good time. While you're waiting on certain objective, you just do things to kill time. Just don't do stupid shit, and you're pretty much golden. Well, the only times you you can do stupid shit is you're playing with a friend and that actually knows what they're doing. That's totally understandable. But yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, till next time, I'm probably gonna do more of this. Until then, farewell, and have a wonderful day, everyone.